Ready and devoted to protecting the citizens, being a firefighter is a full-time commitment, and these selfless individuals deserve all the support they need. But consistency has been an issue in Korea. Not all fire stations receive the required manpower and equipment. For our news features tonight, Oh Jung-hee dissects into the challenges they face even before answering distress calls and how the government plans to make necessary changes. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. I want to fill my calling, to give the best in me, to guard my friend and neighbor, and protect his property. This is a poem called Firefighter's Prayer. It was written in 1958 by a firefighter in the U.S. who failed to rescue some kids trapped behind safety bars from fire. The poem asks for strong courage to stand against fire and save those in danger. To live up to that ideal, it's crucial to have enough firefighters at the scene, which means there's no bigger obstacle than a lack of manpower. The farther away the fire stations are from urban areas, the worse this problem becomes. I first worked at a fire station in northern Seoul for three years and then came to Wonju. In Seoul, ten firefighters are assigned for each shift, but here, it's only five people. There are 330,000 residents in Wonju, and only five people to keep them safe. When we get dispatched to the scene, four people can get in our standard fire trucks. And for the other specialized types of vehicle, like tank cars, ladder trucks, or chemical fire trucks, only one person is left to ride it. He has to drive it, too. We need more people. Firefighters in Korea are classed as civil servants of regional governments, not the national government. So the differences between each province's finances leads to differences in equipment or the number of personnel. Meeting with firefighters in Seoul's Yongsangu district, President Moon Jae-in promised to bring about change and solve the shortages of manpower and equipment. And with the supplementary budget compiled last month aiming to create over 70,000 public sector jobs, he vowed that the hiring of an additional 1,500 firefighters is included in the plan. The move to provide better working conditions for firefighters was started by Lee Jae-jong, a lawmaker from the current ruling party. Last July, she proposed a bill aimed at restructuring Korea's fire service. The bill looks to revive the National Emergency Management Agency as a separate agency from the country's safety ministry so that it could serve as the ultimate authority for various disasters. Making firefighters national rather than regional-level civil servants is another key point. People think the poor treatment for firefighters comes from the budget shortage, but the fundamental reason is their status as regional government officials. Their situations in terms of manpower, equipment and welfare all differ depending on the regional body's financial conditions. That leads to an unequal provision of safety for citizens, too. The change has to come not only for the firefighters, but also for a safer society. To raise awareness and to urge a quick passage of the bill, lawmakers and celebrities are participating in a viral publicity campaign. Fire extinguishing powder, flour or shredded papers are poured on them to give them an indirect experience of the pain felt when putting out a fire. The message they all want to deliver is simple, providing a better working environment for firefighters, whether that's by hiring more personnel or changing their status, will after all ensure better safety for Korea's citizens. It's now been almost a year since Lee proposed the bill to the National Assembly. Improving the conditions of service for firefighters will require discussions in Parliament and of course hearing the voices of the firefighters themselves. 우정이 아리랑 뉴스